hello, hello, my love bug. Once again, it's your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart, for I'm just the messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, and views. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. I'm trying to warm up, y'all, so I don't keep yawning, but hey, excuse me in advance, and let's go ahead and get into it, all right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for divine guidance, clear communication, and divine protection. What we got going on? What is going on today? Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, it's ecstasy. Okay, it's it's in that Usher nice and slow song. Some 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 ecstasy. Some some come on baby, is you rolling me? Get you rolling me, rolling me, trying to control me, something, something. You know, never let you go, never messing with the flow. So let me take you to a place so nice and quiet where there ain't no one there to answer. Ain't got a rush. I just wanna take it nice and slow, okay? Now here we are, driving around town. So I want to take you on a ride, something, something, there you down. Girl, you got me saying, my, 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 I wish that I could pull over and get this thing started. No, no, I want to do something freaky to you, babe. I don't think you heard me, I, I. Okay, so this person is jamming. He want to do what? Call out my name. He wants you to scream out his name and all kind of stuff. All right, ecstasy. Okay, this person feels like, dang, they want to drive toward you. They want to come toward you. They want some forgiveness. They want penance. They feel bad about something. It's like this, this girl is holding her heart, looking up like, oh, I hope they please forgive me. It's something that this person wants you to forgive them for. They see you as just the best thing since sliced fucking bread. And they just really want to keep you around. Take it nice and slow. Um, I guess they want to take you somewhere, drive you somewhere, maybe relieve some sort of stress of yours. Also, when he was like, girl, you got me saying, my, 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 I wish that I could pull over. Whatever it is, he maybe had to come get you. And you maybe had something on. And he was like, dang, you don't really dress like this on a regular. Like, this is nice. And he kind of want to take it there. Oh, my God. Yeah, this person is crazy over you. <laughs> this person is crazy over you. They're trying to stay disciplined. They don't want to sacrifice this relationship. They want to keep it everlasting is what I'm hearing. And they are very serious and fixated on you, okay? Jealous and fixated. They want you to call them whenever you need help, whenever you need anything. They don't want you calling nobody else. Yes, like this person looks at you like you are just so sweet and so innocent. And they will like really hurt some shit behind you. Yeah. Yeah. They will really like take take a life behind you. They feel like they have to protect you. They feel like you're very innocent. You're very fragile. You maybe act tough. You maybe have strength. You know what I'm saying? You have a strong comeback when things happen to you. But this person just feels like you're still a woman. You're still fragile and he wants to protect you. Yeah. He's things that maybe he's witnessed you speak out about. That is the reason why he looks at you as fragile. Because of maybe how people have sacrificed you or sacrificed relationships with you in the past. Yeah, and he knows that these people are just jealous of you because you're innocent. Like, you don't you don't really have nothing going on. And this person really just, yeah, wants to, or maybe was really dealing with the pressures of his peers. Maybe they're watching him. And he wants to protect you from the things that they want to try to do to you or, you know, they're saying about you, trying to get him away from you. He finds you very natural and, and beautiful. Maybe these people feel like you need to dress it up. Maybe these people need, you know, feel like you need to, you know, put it on, do like they do, be extra. But I'm getting you're a very natural, organic, real, trustworthy, and religious person, okay? Religious, spiritual, put it however you go. You have the faith of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Angels, and, and you let them guide you. Yeah, nobility. You're very noble, okay? You're hold, you're held in a high regard spiritually, and I think this person can sense that. That's why they know these people are just jealous of you, and these people just want to rebel against you because you don't do the norm. 
you don't go with the norm. You don't do what everybody else is doing. You do what you want to do. Like I said, back to that natural. This person may look at you as their little Erica Badu or their little Stevie Nicks or something, you know, on the other side of the realm. I got y'all. But um, <laughs> somebody said Salinas in my head. Y'all got to quit playing. Either way, <laughs> whoever, you know, you identify with in your heritage, my love, you are a muse of that, okay? And you're very enlightened and inspirational and spiritual. And you can, you have, this person sees that you can, maybe you have a platform, but they see that you can influence or impact a lot of different people just with your actions. Maybe that's something that they know you like to do. Yes, that's why they feel like you're supernatural because they never met anyone who has been through what you've been through, but you still give a fuck about people. They're like, that is, that is otherworldly. <laughs> okay, that's how they know that you have unwavering faith because you have been through some horrible things and this person can attest to that because you told them or they've heard what people have been doing or trying to do to you behind your back. And for you to still be in this energy, innocent, loving energy, just taking the punches, this person feels like they want to come and save you. They don't want you to feel down. They want you to know that you're special. Maybe you needed them recently. They may not have been able to answer your call. Something happened that someone was trying to invade your space. Someone was watching right back to that witness. Someone was watching, trying to gain knowledge on the situation. This person is very thirsty. They want to know what's going on between the two of you. They want to know why this person holds you in such high regards. This person is also thirsty for you, maybe thirsty for your energy. They were hoping and anticipating that maybe you would run into them some sort of way. And they could, you know, you, you're you always courteous, being nice. Hey, how you doing that? And they could seduce you when this masculine was away. This is someone who wanted you to come around looking for this masculine. <laughs> so that they can take advantage of the situation. Yeah, this is a person that you're not really digging. This is an anti-hero of this masculine. This is a person who is uh wanted you to spend your last days in the day wanted to surprise you and cause an unexpected shift either with you just between you and this masculine so i'm just really feeling like it could have went either way yes this person wants to sleep with you but this person also wants to hurt you sheesh but you connected deeply with uh, you connected deeply within so it's kind of like if you were supposed to have something or someone's supposed to give you something but they couldn't give it to you right then and you kind of needed it and they could have worked it out for you to get it but through somebody else and it's like nah this person's a little shifty your instincts kicked in and was like nah i'm not even gonna worry about it i'm not gonna press the issue because this masculine could make it work out for you but it's kind of like maybe if you needed something from him and he wasn't there then he was gonna have a friend or coco homeboy if he is to come like you know Maybe drop it off to you or put it somewhere where you can come pick it up. And this other person was plotting in the background. Like, yeah, I'll do it for sure. i hurry up and do it because they wanted to get in contact with you. They haven't been in contact with you in a while. And they wanted to try to tempt you to get you away from this mask. And they really wanted to lay with you. They really wanted to do that. But you connected primarily and you also handled your own business. Again, with the religious, this is the same feminine with having faith. You had faith that this situation would get worked out. You didn't act impulsively. You didn't act. Yeah, you didn't act impulsively. It was something like they wanted you to be angry that this masculine or be or have your feelings hurt or be kind of vulnerable because this masculine couldn't be there for you like he was always there for you. And they wanted to see if maybe you were going to react in the adverse and be impulsive and make yourself a victim in a certain situation or to, so they could use you in a situation and, um, you know, kind of knock you and this masculine off your game this person basically knows that this masculine is knocking boots with you and he wanted to knock boots with you just to get y'all apart all right he knows that this masculine does anything and everything for you he makes time for you and he don't like that he wants to see what all the fuss is about okay <laughs> he wants to see what all the fuss is about but instead of you being angry you have compassion a lot of empathy kindness within you and you just realized okay i can't change it if he's not here to be able to help me with whatever it is i'm not dying i'll pray about it i'll be okay the holy spirits will work it out i'll just wait on him and that's the choice that you were supposed to do you were just supposed to listen to the advice and think clearly and you most definitely did that you kept yourself out of a situation because this other masculine was definitely going to try to prey on you um 
you have some sort of magical inheritance which allows it allows you to transmute energy into love okay it allows you to endure a lot but it also allows you to be very loyal it's something that's built into your dna loyalty and you're very loyal to this masculine and you and his connection you won't allow anyone else to get in between you guys and that's like definitely okay yeah like i'm hearing too deaf till death do us part type of energy so you this may be your divine masculine and y'all really are going y'all are really soulmates and it's none of that we switching up well i'm here if we locked in and i'm switching up brody came home went to pick him up <laughs> okay internal youth energy newness vitality all right so maybe yeah you're gonna be able to get a new spark in this relationship because you guys spent some time apart something happened this masculine feels very um apologetic about it but I'm also hearing that you feel un very understanding about it. And that's what's going to bring you guys together. Now, this, this person who was trying to get in between both of y'all. Transgressions, flaws, contradictions. This person who made a mistake and God was watching when they made this mistake. Trying to plot. Trying to push on your free will. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear this masculine. Was it could have went really left, y'all. I'm going to just keep it there and we're going to move past it. Yeah, he got he, he he got caught. He got caught trying to pass this. Do whatever this was. Because he won't let the past go. His past is a prison. He's holding a grudge. Why is he holding a grudge? What is this grudge? What is this grudge? Maybe you did you just didn't take his offer. Let's see. This could have been somebody who maybe wanted to, you know, just like was being fast and you wouldn't take his offer. I'm hearing fast. He yeah, he just he did a little too much. He's not debonair. He just come off real straightforward, but kind of like, this is the reason why you disrespect the feminine that you with. Because what? Yeah, he tried to come towards you and he felt like you was acting all holy and maybe he... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just put two and two together. Okay, so he tried to come at you, right? And you was like, nah, you know, <laughs> I'm okay, blah, blah, blah. Being cute, being innocent. He was like, damn, like, I really respect this woman. It's the only woman I ever respect. Like, I really feel like she not no hoe. And he was idolizing you and then fucked around and got jealous because you was messing with his with his homeboy instead of him. So he was like, oh, I'm jealous as hell of this and I'm going to stab this man in the back. I'm going to make sure I put my meat in her and I'm going to make sure I get her pregnant so everybody knows that I I did it oh my gosh so you know you put your guard up to him because you kind of felt like this man is talking to me real vulgar like i don't like how you speaking to me like only certain people can speak to me like that and you cannot speak to me like that okay you had your guard up maybe you stay close to the house in the house you don't travel around maybe he used to see you at the gas station or stores or something and he ooh, excuse me he wanted to see you there again or maybe he did see you at a gas station or something recently and that made him just want to get back with you and have justice with you instead of working against you. He sees he can have lasting material success with you again. Okay, but he also mad because you and this masculine around here dealing with each other, having victory and success and shit. And that's causing problems with how him and this masculine is rocking. Because he'll do more for you than he'll do for him. And he don't like that. Bros for hoes type of energy. He was like, I saw you as a valuable, you know. Oh, he was surprised when he found out you and that masculine was sliding. Because this man was like, okay, she a, she a lie. She a hoe. So he completely went angry. Went mad because you didn't want to lay with him. You lay with someone else that you were attracted to. And he just feels like, oh, you is a hoe. Why you didn't want to talk to me? So he wanted to try to cause some sort of illusion. Maybe a lie. Tell you something was going on to have you feeling upset. What? This masculine about might have been was finna get ready to lie. Uh-uh. Now I said that this other masculine, the one that wanna come towards you, that feels so bad about not being there for you when he usually is, we're not gonna blame him for nothing. We gonna we I he was doing something to help you move forward because he wants to give to you and help you out. And he's trying to do it in secret. So don't feel no type of way. Okay, boo, because I was finna feel some type of way for you. Okay, the Holy Spirit already told you what type of situation this is. You know how this man feel about you. You know what kind of success you can have with this masculine. Sit your ass down. It's coming. Okay, because this man was finna get ready to tell you that he was 
going down there to do something else with some other people maybe party have fun give opportunities to other hoes i don't know what it was maybe give an opportunity to another feminine he was getting ready to tell you maybe this masculine had another feminine down there he had to go see real quick or maybe he was gonna come toward you with some uh big dick energy he felt like he got a big ding ding dangling <laughs> and he was gonna try to maybe give you an opportunity to tell you he wanted to take you somewhere wanted to, uh, what the fuck maybe take you somewhere take you out to drink or whatever so that he could have victory and getting you drunk and manifesting what he want putting that stick on you and that was gonna cause a stalemate for whatever love off of this masculine and then left to go get to come back and he would have felt like yeah i'm big dog whatever i'm the hardest one you know i get them all he, he couldn't wait to try to run back and tell oh my gosh he was not he was he was gonna be so happy he could run back and tell somebody that shit so they can cause an ending to this mask. This mask man over here might be trying to literally get married to you. Maybe go pick up a ring. Maybe get something and offer ready for you guys. Maybe a home or something. I don't know. He want to come bring you something. This mask man know about it. And this mask man was trying to stop that shit. But once again, your intuition picked up, baby. You knew that uh -uh, the wrong mask man was going to have to be the one to, to be the third party in this situation. Even though I feel some sort of way, my anxiety fucking up. I feel in despair because why is this my man not conversating with me like he usually do? Okay, you got hidden knowledge on possibly what most of it could be. He did let you know, you know, maybe he was doing something else. But the Holy Spirit's on there, you know, listen, give it a chance, chill out, give it some time. This man's going to swing back through. He's just doing something that's going to bring um, wealth and all kind of stuff to you guys later on. This person right here was trying to rush towards you multiple times. They seeing how many times they invested in this shit. You left them on the cold and they watching you. They watching you. They want this masculine to walk away from this high mighty ass uh, energy they got. So that, <laughs> or maybe he wants you to walk away from your high and mighty ass energy you got so that he can come trick you. He got some money. He feel like that's what you need. So he want to come in and try to, you know, at least get a little bit. I heard, let me just stick the head in. Oh my gosh. He may have came from a group of people that you used to hang around that try to cause you some sort of chaos, maybe a community of people that used to cause you problems and, you know, you isolated yourself and you only deal with this one masculine and not just sexually, um, not just for conversation, but yes, for everything. <laughs> for help, let's say shit, something happens with your, your car or something happens and you need help or you need a ride, like this masculine is your masculine that you call, but this is his friend that's jealous on the outside, so... You already know that. Watch out for crazies. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all my love bugs. Y'all know. Clean out the table and we will get into another one, okay? So meet me there.